Hello, this is Gio, and hey, look what I just found at Goodwill. It's kind of a Darth Vader game, uh, kind of a handset, which you kind of plug in uh, to, let's say, a monitor, and you can play a little game. But one thing, when I got this home, I uh, opened up the case, the back of the battery case, and I found something. Now you can see the old uh, Goodwill sticker there. And I unscrewed this and I opened it up and sure enough, uh, like I thought, the batteries are still in there. And I was already kind of noticing some white stuff coming out of the corner. But if you view this little corner right here, yes, there is indeed battery damage. Battery acid damage. So I got some gloves on since I don't want to really be touching this, uh, this corrosion. But just kind of pop these batteries out of here. Let's see what I have. Now you can tell right there that end of the battery is pretty well corroded. Um, the other ones look pretty good. Um, here, let me just finish off here. That one looks good. I don't see any corrosion there. And this one looks okay. So zooming in, you can kind of see that it, largely most of the corrosion was um, confined to this one terminal here and a little bit to this one. Now, uh, even though this battery leaked here, the acid tends to move, migrate with it um, and, you know, can, can start damaging nearby uh, terminals. The other terminals look okay. Actually, there is also some corrosion... Um, I don't know if you can see that. You can see some corrosion right there as well. So, uh, yeah, you know, I paid a full uh, goodwill price for this, but maybe I can get this thing cleaned up. Now, it's likely that you can just take a, a, a toothbrush and kind of brush this corrosion and maybe even sandpaper the connections there and it will actually work. But the problem is, once you have battery corrosion like this, even if you clean it off with a toothbrush, etc., uh, it could still continue to corrode, even if you don't have a battery in there that will corrode um, by itself. You still already have acid there and that could start uh, continuing to eat your terminals here and actually even start uh, eating into the wires uh, inside uh, the controller here and it could just continue to damage. Um, so we want to take care of this uh, corrosion right now. Okay, and the best thing to deal with uh, the battery corrosion is good old-fashioned uh, white vinegar. Now, actually, uh, kind of back up here, bat uh, battery acid's kind of a misnomer. Uh, it's actually, those batteries are alkaline-based, and that means that it's not really an acid, it's a base. And so, the vinegar uh, is slightly acidic, and you could also use... Uh, lemon juice as well to kind of neutralize the battery acid or alkali um, in the battery compartment. So what we're going to use is, uh, again, I mentioned a good old-fashioned toothbrush. So I'm just going to dip this in and uh, start cleaning uh, the battery compartment. And I'm just going to kind of just clean this terminal as best I can and try to remove all the acid. The, uh, the vinegar is pretty smelly. It won't really hurt the electronics as long as you don't saturate inside there. I might, uh, and you can kind of drip dry it. Um, and so you just want to kind of clean up as much exposed terminals as you can. And this will help not only clean that acid off there, but ha neutralize whatever is left there. And so um, you want to just maybe even add a little bit extra so it kind of seeps into those uh, little crevices and maybe even into the wires behind it to try to neutralize all that acid. So just clean it as best you can. Okay, so I think zooming in here, you can see it looks like I got it pretty clean. Uh, most of the acid residue is pretty good. I don't see a lot of permanent corrosion. A lot of times you get essentially a residual rusty it essentially looks rusted, these wires, and, and then you may have to file the contacts. But this corrosion looks like it was pretty new. Uh, the battery probably just started corroding, and so it looks like it didn't do too much damage to these terminals here. Uh, so I'm pretty lucky. There's some residual damage, but 
Um, so I don't think that it really, hopefully it didn't get into the wires. Now, if it did, uh, this is not that, uh, this little controller is not that expensive, so I'm not going to really worry about it, but if I was really worried about it, um, I would probably have to take these little, uh, little rubber things off, take these screws, open this up, and see if there's any internal damage. And if you have a device that's really important to you, you may want to do that. But for this one, I'm just going to take some isopropyl alcohol, try to clean up the exterior, get the sticker off of it, and make it shiny. And then I'll test it out and see what it looks like at the end. Okay, so I wonder, I haven't plugged in my little TV here. Push the button. I put batteries in it and push it. Hey, it looks like it lights up, works. It went, went ahead and started a game. So it looks like it works pretty well. Let's see, push that button. Some selectors, the knobs work good. Very good, it looks like it has a game playing. So there you go. So if you have some battery corrosion, uh, don't fret. Try to get it cleaned out as best you can. Use some white vinegar and hopefully your um, battery compartment and your, your um, component will be good to go from there on. I hope this video helped you out and I will see you next time. Bye bye.